right, you guys, this morning we are going to go and get Miss Tessie checked out. I'm going to pull her out. I'm going to show you the damage. We're going to go and get her estimate done to see how much damage was done. First, I got to uncharge her. Thanks, Dad, for doing that last night. I'm going to pull her out so you can see. Pull her out just a little bit so you can get her in the, in the daylight here. All right, so yes, that is a very teeny tiny little dent, crack, size of my finger, right? But the damage underneath that whole panel has now come apart. And I don't know if this part right here needs to be replaced, like this part right here, or with a new one, it'll just pop back in. But that is the damage. And she looks so sad <laughs> from right here. So we're gonna go get the estimate done on this guy over at Tesla in Seattle. I have gotten the estimate, I'm gonna call that loose estimate, from State Farm, my insurance company. And we will see if Tesla comes up with a new price. <laughs> which State Farm will match. They've already told me that. Theirs is just the photo estimate <laughs> um, because we can't ha send them into the Tesla facility. So I am all ready to go. Normally Jason comes with me, but he had to work today because our employee is in Hawaii. <laughs> We're trying to get everyone around us addicted to going to Hawaii. Um, but I have a breakfast drink right here little protein milk and um, I'm just gonna drive over there I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about um, a ton of like commuter traffic because it's already like 930 so but it still like says it's a half hour drive that's how far away we are so let's head over there hey where have you been I've been looking for you now and then Someone Just like you Who can make me feel The way you do Cause if I'm the ocean You're the rain We only need each other baby You know we're the same Let's run Run away all I need is you, now and always You and me, you and me We don't need no one else than each other You and me Okay, we are done with the estimate I think I kind of got lost in the mix Because they said they were done about 20 minutes ago, 23 minutes ago On the app But, no one came to get me <laughs> I went to the bathroom and then stood by the front counter and they were like um yeah your car is like next stop to like leave so I don't know why they didn't come and get you so this is what it looks like down here we've done plenty of estimates down here actually this is where we picked up this car myself and Jason's car so we've done a lot down here but it's not necessarily like the best area so all right, bye for now, Tesla. Takes about a day or two, he said, to get the estimate done and sent to me, and then I will send that to my insurance, and then we will schedule. Everyone who looks at the account, they're like, oh, you hit a raccoon? <laughs> and I said, no, the, hit, the raccoon hit me, and they laugh, and they're like, okay, we get it. But I'm gonna, my kids are home today. They don't have school today. They're not using it as the snow makeup day. Um, but they're home. And I just told Chelsea, she was the only one awake when I left. I was like, I have errands to run. I didn't know you guys didn't have school today. It's already almost noon. Um, and I have to do an activity for church on Sunday. And so I have to go get the food supplies for that. Um, it's just kind of a last minute thing. All I have to do is food. So I'm gonna go to a store on my way home and then see how the kids are doing. Oh, I think I was supposed to turn there. Let me put this down. So I made the mistake of not turning off the do 
not include toll bridges on my maps. So, because when I go to the hospital for Abby over there, I am driving looking forward. Um, I have to come and take this exit. And sometimes when we go home and we come back this direction, it's a lot faster to take the toll bridge, which is what I'm now apparently on. So when I put the directions in for where I need to go, it knew the fastest way was to take the toll bridge. And I didn't realize it until it was too late. And it would take another 15 minutes for me to get into downtown Seattle and turn back around and go the other direction. So, um, grandma up ahead of me is like not going the speed limit. Come on, you need to pick it up here. Um, so we're on the toll bridge for the cost of $5. So, fantastic. But in case you wanna know, that's roughly where Bill Gates lives in the compound somewhere over there on the water. Okay, found these perfect little yogurt cups. And it comes, well you have to buy a separate, but lids to go with it. Okay, do you know how frustrating insurance is? That's where like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I changed insurance plans, Jason and I did at the beginning of the year. And so I'm having to go through and resubmit all of my prescriptions and get coverage for them and Oh, it's just a big pain. And then, um, what was it? Oh, I need authorization. And the new insurance company, the phone line, the only phone line you're given, takes you through seven or eight ads on the phone call. Would you like to learn about pest control? Would you like to learn about having a pull cord emergency alert tag? I'm like, I'm not 80. <laughs> understand can I just talk to a customer service rep it was so annoying so I was doing that and then I'm trying to find out Ashley an allergist and the closest one to me is an hour away you heard that right without traffic it's an hour plus away and I was like, or into Seattle which is closer it's just a really big pain to go into Seattle so I and that's not even confirming that they can take her right now. So I am going through the weekend to see if she gets better with her hives. They are already better this morning or the, today. It's 3.30. Um, she is still taking allergy meds. So I'm going to do one, two more days of her taking allergy meds. Um, actually, I might let her practice with it. Practice. I might not have her take the one, the Benadryl on Sunday. Just have her take a daily allergy pill. What? on Sunday to give her the chance to see if it's gone on Sunday because that's day 15 um, and just kind of play with it. She can't practice with that tomorrow because she has a performance um, with the globe trotters. So uh, I can't I can't risk that but Sunday could be our day of like experimenting with it and then if she does fully break out in hives I can then give her the Benadryl and she can take a rest for the rest of the day. So. I'm just gonna go to that point and get to Monday because I'm, I'm done. I'm done trying to find insurance coverage. My pharmacy changed. I've had the same dang pharmacy for 22 years. I've used the same pharmacy. Oh, we are no longer taking your insurance. Well, no longer taking, you. we are not taking your new insurance. I have a new insurance and they, aren't, they don't take it. Luckily, every single pharmacy and Costco take my new insurance so I just have to switch but it's just like all of these things that's all I've been doing all afternoon that's all I've been doing and what I need to go and do is what Ashley and I are going to go do now but a friend just dropped all of this stuff off in donations and I don't know um if they know what 18 inches is but a pancake griddle is not in fact 18 inches they were supposed to be under a certain size requirement for the home goods. So I'm kind of frustrated about that. Like I was very specific, it has to be 18 inches. So I'm kind of bothered. It says it in bold letters. I know, it says it in bold letters. So she brought over all of this stuff here and then someone else brought all of that the other day and is bringing, well actually I might go and meet her for lunch next week or the week after because we had so much fun talking but she had to drive an hour to get here and uh, had to get home an hour away 
to get her kids from the bus. So we didn't get as much time talking. So I might drive down to her and get some more. She's like, ooh, this is really like encouraging. I got rid of a lot of stuff from my junk, you know, all over closets and stuff. So she might do some more decluttering. But we need to go to Costco, right Ash? And we're gonna go get yogurt, some multiple kinds of yogurt, like big tubs of it. Wow. And some berries and some, some raspberries, blueberries. Yeah. My right? Friend, Can I do that in a second, yeah, please? I'm just gonna, like... Raspberries, blueberries, and a bag of granola. Maybe two bags of granola. I have a budget that I have to work on, work with. Um, and I think we're gonna, this is going to work good. Then tonight, oh, we don't have plans tomorrow night. We're not going to game night tomorrow night. Oh, we have my game. We have your game all day tomorrow. I was worried about when I could actually put these together. I don't know tonight. No, because I don't want to put the berries on today because they'll get soggy. Can I just put yogurt in them? No, I don't think we need to do that today. I was going to, um, or tomorrow morning, because game night <sighs> after her game slash performance. But our game night is canceled. I still might make plans to go to a movie tomorrow night or do something with the others that are available. One of them got sick. The host, he got sick. And so they can't have everyone over, but maybe we go out with the rest of them. So, um, but I just don't want to be in crunch time at midnight, putting these yogurt cups together. And I, but I got lids so that we could put them together ahead of time, put the lid on it and be able to stack it into boxes or bags and be able to transport it to the church and then put it all into the fridge. Um, until, cause we, you know, we'll have like two and a half hours from the time I get to the church to when it's gonna be um, eaten. And so I want it to eat, be easily transportable in and out of the fridge. Fluffy. What are these? Did you draw yes. these? No, my friend made these. They're very cute. It's like a koi fish. Fluffy. Okay, Fluffy. we need to go to Costco. It's a little okay. coach. She only has a rash. Oh, that's not, that, that's not bad at down all. Here There's a little bit down here. We still see, it's like, there. it's just like scars, remnants of it. People are, uh, cause like, Okay, I need you to get a sweatshirt on. I've told you to be ready to go. And you're I am. Still, I'm just too like it's 40 degrees outside. <laughs> she's this is what she's wearing. Okay, so we're gonna run to Costco. Then I have to take my Costco card to Abby. She's. I was like, I can bring you my membership card, and you can go to Costco and get gas on your way home from work. And she's like, Um, you're still paying. I was like, Yes. Our agreement was for six months of parent provided gas and she still has one month <laughs> and she's holding me to it where's my bloody sock shoes where's my shoes I know you you wonder where the shoes are like where could the shoes be all right I'm gonna bark tennis shoes walk around Costco um but so I have to take her my Costco card for her to go get gas I thought we just put gas in it I thought Jason just filled it up they get kind of panicked when it's under like 100 miles left on the tank, which is good. It's a good practice to keep. Um, I should actually look at Costco. I'm gonna look at Costco for those uh, battery packs. And someone mentioned, you know, like, oh, we always have like charging, or like, what are the, the charger cables or whatever in the cars. I'm like, yeah, we have those in the cars. <laughs> We're running low on cars that actually can charge the other car, on jump the car, jumper cables, that's what they're called. We don't have cars that can jump the other car. Like, that's the problem. So, <laughs> we're running out of those kinds of cars. Um, I know it's a, it's, it's not a, it's a well, weird problem to have. Well, both broken at the same time. And you well, don't know how no, it's, they're not both broken at the same time. It's no. that one of them is usually occupied and can't come jumpstart the other one. And one of them might go to college next year. So, <laughs> it is what it is. So Alright, I forgot to film in Costco. But we got um, two. I ran into two friends. One, right when we were, I pulled up next to her parking. And then we helped her unload her groceries so that people didn't care that we were talking. And then someone else that I had met when I worked at Jimboree at the mall. And she was like a regular customer. And her and her daughter would come to the mall every Friday night and wait for her husband to get off work at Microsoft across the street. And the way it's And they would just like today, hang out. Yeah, well she's probably doing the same thing. They're, she's just killing time 
Um, but our daughter's off at college. She's Kaylee's age. So I know there's no red robin right there. Well, you can't even see it. Anyway, um, oh, I need to go this way. I don't know why I'm. Anyway, I got distracted talking to them and uh, talking about our kids going to school and whatnot. So, but I made you do the math, right? Mm -hmm. So how many how many yogurts did we get? Five. And and how many ounces did that give us per container? 4.8. 4.8 ounces per container. So we have 50 containers that we can fill up. And then how many raspberries? Um, well, we got three. Three containers yeah. and three containers of blueberries and a bag of granola. Which granola would go for about like 30 or 20 or Yeah, we're gonna about do about half of them because not everyone is gonna be able to have the granola. Well, I won't. I'll do a bowl of it in case people wanna add it. Yeah. I can just do a little. I was gonna get little like snack cups, like little teeny tiny ones to add, but that's just a lot of work. People can just add it if they want to, because we're, we're staying there long enough that if people want to come back to the table, they can. So, I got a little snacky when we were in there, because I wasn't buying regular food, so we did buy a bunch of snacks as well. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come to Costco on a Friday night when you have nothing to do and you're hungry. Because we may or may not have gotten the Reese's bunnies. Is that what they are? Animal. The little peanut butter animal cookie, but like they're so them. good. So, and popcorn. I haven't gotten popcorn in probably a year. Yeah. Wouldn't you think? I haven't bought popcorn in a year. But it does come in handy when the kids are hanging out. It's a very cheap snack. It's also a cheap snack for me to use for game nights. Pop a bag and take it to game nights so sucked it up and now it's five dollars more a box but it gives you like 50 some odd bags of popcorn so it's worth it all right Ashley just got donuts so despite the snacks we just got at Costco we aren't eating the snacks tonight correct yeah, that's we're taking some of your gummy gummy worms to the game tomorrow and a snack for dad we've got him licorice he's coming tomorrow oh no he's not coming tomorrow I forgot he has to work. Um, but these are for tonight. You're not e eating them tonight. No, I'm showing. I can't even open it. I know. They don't make this box like easy to open. Easy to open. I just so pretty basic donuts. The only different ones are the maple bar, um, maple iced, and that raspberry filled like powder one. It's like strawberry filled. Um, but these are all the regular ones that we like. Um, but Chelsea wants to see if this kind of maple bar is what she wants for her birthday. So we're, that was a test run. For her birthday donuts in a couple months. What? No, that's mine. Why are you laughing? You're gonna touch every single one of them. You're not eating it right now. You need to go have dinner. It's already five o'clock. Okay, to send out, Jason is going to stop by his brother's house on his way home from work. They're gonna go get burgers and hang out. So I just made myself dinner. <laughs> Abby's at work, Kaylee's at Jacob's. I don't know if she worked tonight. Maybe she does, I don't know. Chelsea already made dinner. I asked her if she had had dinner on our way when I was on my way home. She's like, yeah, I just ate. I don't need anything. And Ashley will just eat her regular thing. So um, I am just going to either finish editing or do my Legos. I really want to like do something fun tonight. So I might do my Legos. I was telling my twin sister about this. Um, we're also making future plans together. Just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tease you guys. I will say, me and my twin sister are making future plans, some of which we'll tell you about sooner than later. Others, you'll find out later. I, we just confirmed some of those plans on the phone just now. My hair, my, I'm done for the day. I wanna make, take my eyeshadow off and my mascara. I really don't know what makes my hair build up. This is day two hair. Maybe day three, I guess. It just looks greasy all the time, even after I fully wash it and blow dry it. <sighs> I might just end with you guys here. I don't even know what, I, maybe I'll get the footage in and we'll see what today, no, we've done enough today. We've done enough to count it as a video. I don't think I've gotten my estimate back from Tesla. Let me just double check. Oh, I did, but maybe that's just a, maybe I did get an update. Let's see, I just saw a thing. Oh, but there's no message. 
your pair is complete, but I don't see, I don't see the estimate. So I'm just curious to see if it's going to be more than what my insurance company has offered to pay so far. Um, but Tesla did tell me, they're like, if our estimate is lower than what you're getting from your insurance, you can cash that check and you can pocket all the extra money. <laughs> He's like, there's nothing wrong with that. They went ahead and gave you that estimate. It is what it is. And if it's $200 off, you get an extra $200. So we'll find out. But uh, it's just my final step in getting the car prepped and ready for a full makeover. <laughs> my brand new car of not even six months needs a makeover. So um, I'm excited to get her, get her all fixed up. And by the time I actually get her cleaned or get her all repaired and whatnot, it'll be nice because it'll be springtime and I'll be able to clean her more often and she'll be nice and white and shiny. So that'll be nice to uh, kind of have that all taken care of. So Hopefully in the next couple months, we can wrap a whole bunch of stuff up, including maybe my secret little surprise. So stay tuned because that one's fun. We just kind of planned that one and uh, it's going to be really fun. So stay tuned and we will see you guys next time.